Hello students, today we will learn how to draw the structure of amoeba. Amoeba, a unicellular eukaryote. I will also tell you about the function of various organelles of amoeba. So, be ready with your paper and pen. So, we are starting with the structure of amoeba. Amoeba is a unicellular eukaryote with irregular shape as its name suggests this irregular shape and this is food small food particle now i am drawing ectoplasm you know ectoplasm is the dense part of cytoplasm and it forms an ectoplasmic tube which takes in the food and converts into food vacuole this is cell membrane very important it's a thin layer of protein and fats which allows only selective substances to get in the cell this is the cell membrane of amoeba ectoplasm is much denser than endoplasm ectoplasm and endoplasm together they are known as cytoplasm and this is endoplasm which is uh, slightly less viscous than ectoplasm Now we'll draw a very important part of the amoeba or any cell that is nucleus. You know in 1942 Clark told that if nucleus is removed from amoeba then there is 70% reduction in locomotion, respiration and digestion. And the amoeba dies in 7 days, within 7 days amoeba will die. This is a nuclear membrane. It separates nuclear material from cytoplasm. After that, this is nucleolus. It synthesizes ribosomal RNA. Very important part of nucleus. This is chromatin material containing hereditary informations for the next generation. So these three all together they are nucleus eukaryotes have a very well defined nucleus organized nucleus amoeba is an a eukaryote now this is lysosome it releases digestive enzyme this is mitochondria you can see cristae these folded structure inside this is Golgi apparatus, cells post office. Here I am drawing endoplasmic reticulum and these are small dots, these are ribosomes. And when ribosomes are there on endoplasmic reticulum, na, it is known as rough endoplasmic reticulum. Yeah, this is the structure. Now lysosomes. Lysosomes are simple structure, they are spherical and they have hydrolytic enzymes, they have uh, digestive enzymes. Mitochondria you very well know, it's a double membrane structure and a powerhouse of the cell. Golgi complex, Golgi complex is actually associated with production of secretion, it uh, also forms the lysosomes. And it's packaged, it packaged the you know, proteins and gave out. So it's called a post office. These are endoplasmic reticulum. Yeah. Endoplasmic reticulum is very important. It is membranous, tubular, flattened sacs. It helps in protein synthesis. It gives mechanical strength, mechanical support to the cell. And it actually gives the structure to the cell. Now, here I am drawing a contractile vacuole. This is a food. Uh, this is a food vacuole in front of food. Contractile vacuole. You know what is osmoregulation? Osmoregulation is maintaining of osmotic pressure by controlling the concentration of water and salts. So contractile vacuole actually helps in osmoregulation. And uh, it, it contracts and gives out excess liquid. Right. Yeah, this is contractile vacuole and this is pseudopodia. Pseudopodia is temporary protrusion. Yeah. 
amoeba is protruding temporarily that is pseudopodia temporary protrusion for feeding for movement etc here i am drawing one more food vacuole now i am writing it a digestive vacuole because it is near lysosomes and lysosomes are giving its enzymes for digestion so very important now you can see food vacuole and uh, pseudopodia you can see there in the labeling just opposite to that there is uroid what is uroid it is on the it is the posterior part of amoeba and pseudopodia is the anterior part of amoeba so students that was the structure of amoeba i hope you have enjoyed now there are two questions for you the name of which organelle of amoeba means false feet false feet fine the next question is which organelle of amoeba helps in osmoregulation right you have to write these answers in the comment box thank you